Welcome to our biomechanics lab. This is a brand new space in the Department of Kinesiology that's used for both research and teaching applications and has provided a lot of opportunities for collaboration with the Doctorate of Physical Therapy program, Masters of Athletic Training, and we're even getting into some partnerships with animation and gaming. We really look forward to seeing how this will improve collaborations with both athletics and other departments across campus. Markers, if you just take one uh, marker set, it's gonna show it's gonna show you how the shank is either. So at the marker station we have a couple students who are learning how to place their markers. Uh, these markers are important to place at specific anatomical locations because that's how we track what movement's occurring. And so the marker placement is incredibly specific. So we work with our students to teach uh, palpation techniques and then how to identify these important landmarks to put the markers where they need to go so we can track lower extremity movement. But there's no movement during motion. So we're gonna start right underneath that marker and come all the way around. All right, Sandia, ready, and then set. Really want to tighten this muscle. Awesome. So. At this station, we're looking at surface EMG or surface electromyography, which gives us a window into the nervous system. But with the use of these electrodes, we can determine how much a muscle is being activated. And so when a muscle contracts, the nervous system is actually sending a signal to that muscle. And this technology allows us to capture that signal so we can determine how well a muscle is functioning or maybe how muscles are functioning compared to one another. This technology has a lot of different applications. And so we'll typically use it for athletes to help them with their performance. We can use it in clinical settings to help patients recover from their injuries. And then we can also use it for sophisticated research projects to really learn about how the muscles are working together. When Olivia is jumping, we often use this technology to identify mechanics that could predispose an athlete to injury. And so we're having Olivia doing a drop jump because it requires her to explode right away. And using our motion capture and our force plates, we can get an idea of how she's landing and taking off to see if she has any movement patterns that could put her at an injury risk. Get right over the force plates. Yeah, there you go. So the computer is giving us a real-time view of our subject moving in the lab space. And so if you notice on the computer, there are all those little colored dots. And each of those dots corresponds to one of the reflective markers on our subject. And so each of those dots is moving in three-dimensional space, and the computer is picking up its position. So the computer will give us, and all of the cameras, will give us the 3D position of each of those markers. It'll give us an X, Y, and a Z. So if you imagine this whole space like one big X, Y, Z graph, we're just, those dots are moving along that graph. How much force is pushing the ground, yeah. and how much the ground is pushing back up against here.